YouTube, 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 once again, guys, I thank you for support. So I have a um, subscriber that requested for me to put together a video um, on how to adjust to someone that does man line defense, man line defense. Um, I'm going to go ahead and break down a couple of different things for you. Uh, first and foremost, I, I just want to go ahead and just run. I'm going to run random shotgun plays here. Um, it just so you can so I can show you that I'm not I don't have any particular scheme that I'm looking at I'm just I'm just making progressions and reads now this is gonna be um, You know probably the best thing to do is if you are struggling with man line defense uh, While you're playing the game is just go into the lab um, And then go ahead and adjust the defense to man line so auto alignment man align defenders will align accordingly to their man uh, and then you can make it you can either do it against zone coverages or different types of coverages i would say probably go with the play types either man coverage or zone uh, man zone or basically cover uh, cover zone so cover zone like cover two cover three deep zone this is actually probably just a better thing to do because you might not basically be able to pick up your reads correctly but uh this this will basically help so um, with the secret, with these uh, these reads, basically what I want to do is I want to just assume uh, I want to look for my open man. Now, if it's coverage, if the guy falls, if, if the defenders fall back in his own coverage, I'm just going to look for the open routes um, that are going to be opened up by the other complement routes. So the, the route that I'm looking at right away is going to be Allen. That's going to be one of the routes I'm going to look to uh, immediately. Uh, also, what I could do is I can go ahead and complement um, Guyton's route with Henry's route to give myself a levels concept. And I'm going to go ahead and take my running back and block him. So uh, let's just go ahead and, and snap the ball, see what happens right here. Uh, right here, basically, this defender actually just get, or doesn't even cover Guyton. And I'm all I'm doing is just looking for the open receiver based on the complement of routes. So I, I, maybe I can't articulate this correctly. This is uh, something that uh, I'd have to actually work on. But I wanted to try to get a video out here uh, to you guys to talk about man aligned. So whether they're man aligned or if they're base aligned, uh, really what you're doing is your first read is you're going to go ahead and t determine if it's a blitz or if it's going to be zone, it's going to be drop coverage. So see how these guys all drop back in coverage right away. He drops back in coverage. This guy drops back in coverage. He drops back in coverage. Once I see that, basically I know this is zone coverage, and then I'm just going to go ahead and look for all my zone beaters. So um, the first, you know, my first read is going to be this little drag underneath. Uh, because if these guys float up and then follow this dude and I don't have anybody around this I'm just gonna go and drop this down But conversely what I have on the back side of this is this crosser here now I know what you probably some of you're thinking Oh, I should have you should hit the big play But that's not necessarily the smart thing to do You don't want to try to force the ball into a big play because his user might be taken away So just take the first open wide receiver and actually just try to turn it up and get some good yards I'm still able to go ahead and uh, the ball on the 40 I turn this up, get 10, 15, 25 yards with a little flat route, and I've never blabbed this play before, but I know how to complement it against someone that I know is going to be zone, doing a lot of zone coverages. So uh, just looked at this at this again. Uh, so we've got basically, I've got a corner or an angle route by the running back. I've got a, an option route by Guyton. I've got a deep a deep end. So if you take a look at Allen and Guyton, the, that essentially is a flood concept off to the right because they've got a deep end, which goes out 15 yards and cuts across. Williams is clearing out, so that's a zone that's going to be clear out zone. And then i got a little option route, which is either going to sit there and stick, or he's going to go to the sideline and i got an angle route. Now, on the snap of the ball, I can hit this route immediately if I want to because I know if it's zone coverage, these guys are going to flow back and they're not going to play that running back. That's a smart progression. That's a fast progression. But let's take a look at the instant replay and see where else we can go with the ball. So I obviously hit this running back because these guys just immediately floated back in the coverage. doesn't matter where they're aligned. If they float back in coverage, I know I've got these underneath routes that I can go and pop and get an easy completion. But let's take a look at this side. Uh, basically, I got a flood concept, so this guy's going to be over the top of the coverage, and then I've got this underneath route. So, I, uh, I, if I wanted to, I could focus on this side and see if I can hit this little little hitch route that this guy falls back into. Defender floats down to the hitch. I've got basically this this uh, this route on the back side that actually hit, uh, but I was able to get rid of the ball fairly quick. So, it's just a concept that you're looking at uh, when you're making your reads. So let's just go with uh, ver uh, dagger concept right here. I'm going to block the running back. I've got uh, basically a read off to the left. I've got uh, the, the running this drag route. I'm just going to go and take that. If I'm picking up 10 yards of the drag, I'm going to take it. And I'm just going to show you my fast progression when I'm looking at it. And this is post-snap progression. I don't know what the coverage is going to be. 
So my first read with, with this particular concept is I'm going to go ahead and look at this guy right here and see if I'm going to get him isolated. He doesn't get isolated because I know it's a deep comeback because this guy floats out. So now that tells me it's zone and I've got basically um, a dagger concept. This guy's clearing out the top of the zone and this guy's underneath the zone and this guy's doing the back side of it. But these guys are all floating up high. They're, play, they're taking that deep dig route. Uh, so I'm just going to drop it down to this route and just try to turn it up and pick up some good yards. So you might run into someone that runs a lot of man coverage. So that might be a little bit more challenging uh, with man align. So let's go ahead and take a look at concepts for that. All right, so this is probably just to cover one shell uh, man coverage. And with this, uh, you know, if you got a guy that runs a lot of co man coverages, uh, deep outs are very effective. Whip routes are very effective. Um, you know, uh, basically hitch routes, curl routes, or curl routes are very effective. Uh, it really depends if someone's pressed. Uh, but one of the things that I like are deep outs, or just out routes in general against off coverage with man coverage. You can pop at pretty much all the time, and it doesn't really make much of a difference. Another concept too that that I like to do uh, is uh, basically uh, a streak slant concept. And why this is good is that it actually gives you an opportunity to hit a slant route. If you got a, a late re elite receiver like Allen, basically that'll clear things out for you once he gets off his man. So you can see right here, I'm clearing this zone out with this with, with this the slot receiver, and all I have to do is just wait for him to actually go ahead and make his break. And he generally will get most receivers will get separation on a slant as soon as they get off the press. And I could actually get a nice little completion and pick up 10 yards or 15 yards on a slant. So that's a, that's a very easy way to go ahead and get an easy completion against anybody that runs a lot of man press and man aligned defense. So here's a, just another concept too, just a little drag route or just a dig route. Dig route generally will get really good separation against man coverage, so that's something you can look to. So uh, it's just making the reads. Um, any kind of like hitch route that's a little bit goofy, watch Allen's route. I want to go ahead and make sure that I don't have another receiver. So if I reset this play, take a look at Green's route. Green is going to float into that zone. So I don't necessarily like that. I don't, I don't want people in the same uh, same um, in vicinity with them, especially when it's going to be fast like that. So I'm going to streak up Green just to get him in, 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 a little bit deeper down the field. But watch Allen against the press. Uh, he's going to go ahead and get himself a nice big completion because they know it's basically man coverage. So, you know, if your opponent's blending zone and man coverage uh, with a man aligned defense, uh, that's, that could be very confusing. But I, I would recommend that basically you go into the lab and just practice making reads after the snap. Um, that's probably the most important thing. Um, but you have to basically have, when you have any kind of a, a offense set up, you got to have your man beaters with your zone beaters. So you can see right here, uh, this guy's just clearing out the zone. He's pulling defenders out of the area. But I know that these little hitch routes, even at this depth, which is almost, you know, what, almost 20 yards, he's going to get separation. I can get a nice little completion. And even against be some of the better defenders and defensive backs, even elite defensive backs, they're, they're not going to be able to play this correctly. Now, if I would have left this... Uh, this uh, tight end actually in his route, most likely he'd actually be in my passing lane. So you need to go ahead and make sure that you make adjustments like that against your opponent if you expect him doing, doing some man coverage against you. So most players, when they play online, they spam either man coverage, blitzes, or zone. Uh, not a lot, you know, not a lot of good players, not a lot of elite players out there, um, you know, they have pretty particularly schemes set up, but they don't really go ahead and mix things up too much. Uh, they usually stick into a, a base defense and make adjustments from there. Uh, you'll see a lot of players as you play online, they'll stay in one particular coverage until you beat it, and then they'll switch out into another coverage until you beat it. Um, so uh, most people just don't mix up the coverages a lot. So I would say probably your best bet, uh, if you're going to lab, if you're struggling against this, go into the lab. Uh, you know, just pick random plays or plays that you like to use out of your out, out of your your playbook, and just do the just do the man line feature and just do random defenses and just get used to making your reads after the snap before the snap. Uh, that should make a significant difference for you uh, as far as uh, basically your your choices when you're when you're making plays. So, you know, just go into that coaching adjustment, switch it to man align and then just do go against random defenses you might struggle with such as a 34 or something like that so this should probably help once again my subscribers thank you for your support guys i will be rolling out more madden offensive and defensive tips to take your game to the next level so thank you for your support until next time